Sure, there's plenty of hype surrounding Samsung's Galaxy S4 and it's well deserved, but now I've finally got my copy of the HTC One and man am I excited. It is a major evolution in the brand smartphone lineup and one people are definitely taking notice. So let us bust it out, take it for a spin and see what you can expect when you buy the HTC One. Under the lid, tucked to one side, is the shiny unit itself. Sliding back the plastic, my fingers get their very first taste of the expertly crafted aluminium chassis, chamfered edges, two-tone goodness, and I am very pleased. It isn't very often I have adored a device on first hold, but I better put it to one side and show you what else is in the box. You can expect in every shipment, the little key to unlock the SIM card tray, safety, product information and warranty guides, an AC wall power adapter, micro USB charging cable, and some red tipped HTC branded in-ear headphones to complement the Beats audio boasted in the One. Now, back to the device itself. The base of the front face has one of the stereo speakers and above that are two capacitive buttons, a back button and a home button. This is very sleekly bordered by a glimmering chamfered aluminium edge that leads into a band of plastic that contains the micro USB charging port and a microphone. The left hand side is very clean and leads to the SIM card tray at the top corner. At the top of the device is the headphone jack and the integrated IR blaster and unlock button. It has the smallest protrusion from the chassis but one I'm hoping doesn't impact on use. The top of the front face has the other stereo speaker with ambient light and proximity sensors to the left and the 2.1 megapixel wide angle front facing camera to the right with the notification light embedded in the speaker grille. The right hand side of the device holds only the volume rocker that is visually defined by its aluminium concentric circular pattern that breaks it up into what is the position of the volume up and down. It doesn't protrude at all from the chassis making the sides of the one crucially sleek. The rear panel is rounded in all directions and strong with nothing but aluminium. It is broken up by thin white bands which are continuations of the plastic sides and the top embeds another microphone and beneath the new ultra pixel camera and flash. I am curious whether a two-tone tipped look could have worked with the rear panel here because the thin lines I'm not loving. But booting up is fast paced so restarting this device from time to time won't be a tedious task. Entering in a swipe up takes us to the first home page and this is the new HTC Blink Feed, a social media aggregator slapped onto the home screen. It's vertically orientated, does what it aims to do, but let's see if I ever use it. The rest of the new updated Sense UI is vastly different from what I had come to expect from HTC and I've got to say it is pretty slick. Really deviated so far from raw jelly bean that it seems almost like another OS but I like it. So with so much to test, trial and play at, I'll get busy, you get commenting on what you would like to see from my review and a big thanks to MobyCity.com for supplying the review unit. I'm Kurt, this is Kabootech, stick around.